In this video, we're going to review how to solve exponential equations. At this level of math, the way we're going to do this is we're going to set the bases equal. If we can set the bases equal, then we can go and set the exponents equal and solve the equations that way. We're not going to be using logs or natural logs, so if you've heard those terms from anybody, forget about it for now. All right, to do the first problem, we're going to go through and we're going to try to make 64 using a base of 2. Now this may take some trial and error and you may need your calculator. Now I know that 2 to the 6th power is going to be 64. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to write 2 to the 5x equals, and then rewrite the 64 as 2 to the 6th power. Once I have those bases equal, I can now set the exponents equal. That means I can say 5x equals 6. Once I've done that, this becomes a pretty simple equation to solve. All I need to do is divide both sides by 5, and there's my answer. x equals 6 fifths. For problem 2, it's a little bit more difficult because now we have this fraction, this 1 fifth. On the other side, I have 125. Well, I know that anything with that fraction can be rewritten as a negative exponent. So I'm thinking that 1 fifth is the same as 5 to the negative 1. Now that I know I'm probably going to be using a base of 5, I'll rethink the 125. 125 is really nothing more than 5 to the third power. 5 times 5 times 5. To rewrite it, I'm going to start by doing 1 fifth as 5 to the negative 1. It already had that 2x as an exponent, so I'll put that in parentheses up in the exponents. So what I have is 5 to the negative 1 times 2x. On the other side, 125 is really 5 to the third power, and again I already had an exponent, so in parentheses, x minus 3. As soon as I have those bases equal, I can now set the exponents equal. This means negative 1 times 2x is equal to 3 times x minus 3. To solve this equation, I'm going to have to distribute. The negative 1 times 2x is nothing more than negative 2x. On the other side, 3 times quantity x minus 3 is 3x minus 9. Now I need to get my variable isolated. This means subtracting 3x from both sides, which gives me negative 5x equals negative 9, and then divide both sides by negative 5. When I do this, I'll see that the answer x equals positive 9 fifths. Now for the other two, again we have a little bit harder problems. So in this case, I've got to rethink about trying to get the um, 9 to the um, x plus 2 by itself. That means I'm going to have to remove that minus 1. Using order of operations, uh, to solve this we're going to go in reverse order, which means we'll have to undo that subtraction. That means adding 1 to both sides. This gives me 9 to the x plus 2 now equals 27. Well, I can't make 27 conveniently using a base of 9, so I'll have to try a different base. I'm thinking 3. I know that 3 squared is 9, and 3 to the third power is 27. Rewriting this, 3 squared is 9. It already had an exponent, so I'll put that in parentheses, x plus 2. On the other side, the 27 is 3 to the third. Once my bases are equal, I can set my exponents equal. To solve the equation, I'll have to distribute. In this case, that becomes 2x plus 4, and it still equals 3. Just to solve the equation, we'll subtract and then divide. And I'll see that the answer is x equals negative 1 half. Now the next one looks a little bit intimidating, but if we think about what we know, it's not that bad. The 1 over 49 tells me that I'm probably dealing with a negative exponent. So if I start thinking about how to make 49 using a, a different base, I'll probably think of a 7. 7 squared is 49. Once I know that, it's going to help me to figure out that other side. So let me go ahead and rewrite this one. The 1 over 49 is really just 7 squared. However, it's a negative 2 because it's on the bottom. Up top, we've got this x plus 4. If I'm using a, a base of 7, I'm going to have to try to do some trial and error to find 343. It turns out 7 to the third power is 343. And it already had an exponent, so we'll put it in parentheses, and it becomes 3 times 5x. Once my bases are equal, we'll set the exponents are equal. Now 
Again, I'll have to distribute the negative 2 times quantity x plus 4 is negative 2x minus 8. And on the other side, I have 15x. I need to isolate the variable, which means get x by itself. So instead of adding the 8, and that would, and that would be more work because then I'll have to move the 15x, I'm going to instead add 2x to both sides. This gets all my x's on one side and the constant on the other. The last step is divide. And I see that the answer is going to be x equals negative 8 over 17. I hope this helps you to solve exponential equations.